Hey everybody, it's Chad HD, host of the Chad HD Show. So we begin another week on the show, and another week, of course, that will be focused on the national election between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. If you uh, look at some of the headlines from over the weekend, uh, it was pretty good for Donald Trump. Uh, not a lot of bad headlines for Trump. He actually stayed on message uh, over the weekend. On Friday, he endorsed Paul Ryan, uh, and uh, also uh, he endorsed... John McCain uh, of Arizona. Uh, so some pretty good news uh, for Republicans as uh, Donald Trump stayed on message. He talked about GOP unity and he talked about bringing the party together. Uh, now, how long will it last? That's always been the big question uh, for Donald Trump. How long will he stay on message? And instead of hitting Ted Cruz, John Kasich, Paul Ryan, John McCain, etc., how long will he stay away from hit those things and instead focus his energy and his time on hitting Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama? So far over the weekend, I'd say pretty good from Donald Trump. Uh, now, if you uh, do read the headlines, you do continue to see some of the uh, national media saying that Donald Trump is done, that he's over, uh, that uh, he's losing to Hillary Clinton by eight points. In fact, uh, they, uh, there was one headline that I saw that, uh, or byline, I guess, uh, that I saw that, uh, that, that said, well, you know, Donald Trump, he's down in the polls, but also he's losing compared to this stage from Mitt Romney and John McCain when they were ahead. Huh. Okay. Well, let's analyze that for a second. Uh, Barack Obama was down in 2012 to Mitt Romney, right? Well, who won the election? It was Barack Obama, obviously. Uh, so all of these polls that say that Donald Trump is doing worse than Mitt Romney, so what? Mitt Romney didn't win. Uh, now, does that is that a guarantee that Donald Trump's going to win the presidency? No. But all these polls and all these pundits who are telling you that uh, you have to look back into 2012 and compare the election to 2012, compare the election to 2008, it's not even close to the same. Uh, in 2012, people liked the candidates they were going to vote for. Uh, people, the Democrats liked Barack Obama. Uh, in 2008, they really liked Barack Obama. They loved Barack Obama. You had independents who loved Barack Obama. Uh, you had the uh, African American vote that turned out in droves back, uh, in both 2008 and 2012 for Barack Obama. Uh, are we going to see those same type of numbers in 2016? I don't think so. I don't think you're going to see the African American vote where it was in 2012 and 2008 because it's Hillary Clinton and it's Donald Trump. Uh, it's, it's, well, sorry to say this, it's two old white people. Uh, you're not going to see the same passion from minority communities as you did uh, in 2012, in my, uh, in, in my belief. Um, also in this election, people don't like these candidates. They're not passionate about these candidates. However, Republican voters, Trump supporters, are a hell of a, a lot more passionate about Donald Trump than Democrats are about Hillary Clinton. And that's what tells me that Donald Trump is not out of this thing. Because if he can keep the passion up, if he can keep the fervor up uh, from Republicans, then I think he may have an edge on Election Day. But again, he has to do what he did this weekend, and that is stay on message, uh, not fight Republicans, instead Focus on Barack Obama, focus on Hillary Clinton, focus on Tim Kaine, uh, and uh, I think everything will go much smoother this week. In fact, I think Donald Trump has a uh, planned speech this week, maybe for Tuesday, maybe a policy speech that he's going to lay out. I think it's going to be a good week for Donald Trump. Uh, there was a poll that came out over the weekend that, uh, that, that showed Hillary Clinton up eight points on Trump. That's actually good news. Why? Because it looks like Trump has maybe stopped the bleeding from early last week. Remember, Donald Trump was down early last week 9 to 10 points, up to 15 points in one poll by the end of the week. If he's only down 8 points right now, that means he stopped the bleeding, maybe re uh, reversed things, and uh, you're going to see another swing maybe this week in the election. We'll keep you up to date with everything going on. Follow me on Twitter, Chad Hasty Radio. Don't forget, follow me uh, on Twitter and also here on YouTube. Uh, just click the uh, subscribe button to KFYO on YouTube. Have a great day. We'll talk to you on the radio, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 790 AM KFYO. Online, KFYO.com. Have a great day.